Welcome to Allen's Auction Center online bidding video tutorial. In this video, we will first demonstrate how to set up your new online bidding account, and in the second part, we'll walk you through the online bidding process. First, let's go to our homepage at allensauctioncenter.com. Next, we will click on the bid button in the middle of the screen. This will take us to our online bidding platform. If you are a new bidder, you will first have to register for a free online bidding account, no credit card required. To do this, simply go to the top of the screen and click on login slash new bidder. Another box now pops up asking us for our username and password. Since we are new bidders, we will first have to click on the box that says new bidder, click here. This will now ask us to enter our email address and to confirm it. Now that we have done this, the registration screen opens up prompting us for our information. Simply skip the company name field and enter your first name, last name, select the country Canada, address, city, state slash province will be New Brunswick in this case. Postal code. Phone number. Now in this section, you will be asked to create your new username that is specific to yourself. And your password. You will want to remember this information as it will be used to enter into all of our future auctions. You have to confirm your password. And at the bottom, you will see there are some options to check. You can hide your username from the public, which I recommend. The second one is send an email confirmation for every bid placed, which we don't check because you'll receive quite a few emails. Third, send an email when outbid on an item. This is a handy feature to have on. And of course, email reminders for our future auction events. You will now click on Create New Account. At the top, you'll see you have successfully created your account and now at the very top you will see your name showing that you are logged in. This completes the first section of our online video tutorial. In the next section we will show you how to log in using your new username and password and to place online bids as well as features of our online bidding platform. Welcome back to part two of our online bidding video tutorial. In this section, we will show you how to use your new username and password that you just created in the previous video to bid online. And we will also show you some of the features of our online bidding platform. First, we will click on the bid button. We'll go back to the top to click on login. This time we will use the new username and password you created in the past video. And this time click log on. So when you arrive at our online bidding platform, you will see there is one of two auctions showing. The bidding is open and you can click on the description of the auction to get to the catalog. Be sure to view the terms and conditions. And as you can see, there are 455 lots 
in this auction. We have watch lists that if you find an item you can put on your watch list. We also show the current bid amount and the next bid increment. So let's bid on an item. First, in order to bid on an item, find the item that you wish to bid on. In this case, the exercise bike. You will click on the bid button and the first time around it will ask you to confirm that you've read the terms and conditions. You want to submit your registration and click OK. As you can see, the system prompts you to enter the next bid increment, which is $9. We'll click on Confirm Bid. And as you can see now, you are the winning bidder currently at $9. It shows your max bid at $9. Let's bid on another item. In this one, the next bid increment is 80. We will click on that. We will confirm the bid. And as you can see, you are now outbid as somebody has already entered a higher maximum bid than what you just bid. You can continue to bid on this item until you are showing winning, or you can move on to something else. I will now show you how to enter a max bid on an item. Say, for example, with this headboard, you wish to bid a maximum of $20. You'll click on the bid 8. You can change this bid amount to any number that you choose. In this case, we will select $20. As you can see, the bid only went to the next increment at $8. It is showing your winning, and it's showing your max bid is at $20. If somebody was to bid $9, it would automatically increment the next bid to 10, since your maximum is 20. If the auction closed and the bid is showing $8, that's all you pay for the item. Your max bid is simply an amount that will bid on your behalf to your maximum amount. Every auction has a specific closing time. In this case, at 8 p.m. on October the 6th. When you log into your account at the close, a different screen will appear. This time, instead of showing items one over top of the other, it will come up in tiles as shown on the screen here. It takes over an hour for the entire auction to close down, and meanwhile bidding remains open on the unclosed lots. As you can see, we have a soft close on our auctions, which means if there's a bid on an item in the last minute of the auction, the system will add three minutes to the time to allow the person who was outbid another opportunity to place a bid. This will continue until the bidding ceases on that item. Most of our auctions, the lots close 10 seconds apart, and this will continue on until all 400 plus lots have closed in the auction. Another feature that we have in our auctions is you can click down on the drop down and you'll see your current bids your watch list, your past bids, your account info, and also some help on bidding. In this case, we'll click on our watch list. It will show the items that we have bid on. It shows whether you're outbid, whether you're winning, if you'd like to change your bids, and so on. This concludes the online video tutorial for our online auctions. Thank you and good luck with your bidding.